A lot of unknown still. Early childhood education also set to face possible cuts due to sequestration. A significant number of kids could be removed from Head Start programs across our state. Jordan Burgess looked into this issue today and joins us now live. Jordan, what would you find out? Well, we've learned that here in the Miami Valley alone, nearly 300 kids will have to be dropped from Head Start and 45 staff members will be laid off. But the people I spoke with say the biggest loss is yet to come. Thank you. These building blocks are more than just toys to kids like Oceana. They're a chance to get a leg up. It would help out a lot of other parents too if they had this. But just like the blocks, programs like Head Start require a delicate balance, one that has now been thrown off by what's going on at the top. Oh, you gotta start over. Try again. It concerns me greatly that as we look to solve our nation's problems, uh, they get solved on the backs of little children and people who really can't afford the services they need. The federal budget cuts from sequestration are going to force Head Start programs like those at the Miami Valley Child Development Centers to cut kids and workers. Everything we do in Head Start and Early Head Start leads to that school readiness. And these children who lose this service are going to lose that opportunity. As an employee at one of the centers, Rachel Parks gets to see firsthand the difference Head Start can make. You see the growth, especially the kids that come here as an infant, that you see the growth and the, and the things that they're learning here in the center. Now she's watching her own child, 18-month-old Philip, grow up at a center, but she doesn't know for how much longer. I'm very worried about it because not only will that cut me off of employment, it would also be a hindrance toward my child. The Head Start cuts come at a time when the program has been more important than ever, with the state wanting children to be able to read by third grade. Officials are worried that if they fall behind, building them back up won't be easy. Oh, okay, we're all done with that one. We're not sure where these children will go if they lose, lose Head Start. And I'm told exactly when local Head Starts will see these cuts is still unknown. Officials are still working out the details. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News.